Okay, it's now August time. August, quarantine come. Very, very good bait for catching garrick, uh, cob, uh, grey sharks, raggy, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is show you the trace that I like to use. I'm going to show you two different traces. Just to let you know, Kingfisher do sell made up traces, quick and easy. You just come in and purchase them. They are tied very, very nicely and they are very, very strong. To make that trace, what we require is some 4.5 kilo maxima, ultra green preferably. Number nine or number eight mustard hooks. That's a 92247. It's got the barbs on the back. Just holds the bait on a lot better. Some small sinkers, anything from half ounce, three quarters. Um, you're fishing very close, you're fishing very light, so don't go too heavy on your sinkers. You want it to move around a little bit. And of course, good pair of mustard uh, scissors. To make the trace, it's very, very simple. What we do, we'll cut that off there. Okay. Measure a meter of nylon. And you're pretty much doubling. So what we're doing here is basically a granny knot. So we're taking it and we're going through the loop once. There's your granny knot. If I can hold it together. There's your granny knot. And then you just go through it again, twice. Okay. You pull it tight. There's your figure of eight. A little bit of lubrication there just to keep the knot from actually burning. 30 centimeters away. You're going to make another granny knot and exactly like I did the first knot, you're going to do again. So we're going to go through once and go through twice. It's so as simple as that. There we go. There's your figure of eight. Pull tight. Again, we're going to do the exact same thing again. Just a little bit further away. About five centimeters away. One. Two. There we go. There's our figure of eight forming again. So the two knots are literally five to seven centimeters away there and we pull tight. Again, about 30 centimeters away. We're going to do the exact same thing. Once. Twice. There we go. Pull tight. Five centimeters away. We're going to do the exact same thing again. Once. Twice. There we go. Pull tight. Cut off the little tag end that's left. So we just snip that off. Then we give ourselves about 30 centimeters and we're going to tie a loop. That's the end of it that your sinker is actually going to go into. So there we go. Exact same knot again. Figure of eight. There we go. Pull tight. Okay. Now what we do. Cut that off. We get a sinker. Go through the eye of the sinker so you can understand how this trace is already forming. And you go through the loop. Okay. So there we go. That area was our last one that we tied. So all I'm going to do just take it, snip it off. So there's my hook snoot coming off of it already. The second one from the top. There we go. Snip it off. There's the hook snoot coming off of it. That part now will go through onto your your main line, your leader, whatever you want, just use a fast touch, um, mustard fast touch, and you just clip it on, turn it around. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tie the hook on. Again, the hook is very simple. 
It's a figure of eight. Then you grab two hooks out here. One, two. We're going to go through the R. And we're doing a figure of eight. So to do a figure of eight, all I'm going to do is go around once, twice, three times. And I'm going to go in through the back, taking that line and bending it and going in through the back. There we go. As I'm pulling it, you can see the figure of eight starting to form. There we go. Clipped over. There we go. Slide the figure of eight all the way down. Pull tight and cut off that little tag end. Top hook done. Once again, we do the exact same process again. Go through. And one, two, three times around the back. Take the line back through it. Just hold the tag end of the line and you can undo it so that you form that figure of eight there. Slide back down. And there we go. There is the completed trace for a quarantine. Very quick and easy. I'm just going to step back so you guys can see it properly. And there is the two tag ends sticking out and away from the line. Can you see that? Very quick, very easy. Very easy to throw something that's this small to catch carotene. They like that long um, hook snoot that you have. It gives a lot of movement in the water. They like it, so try and keep it as long as possible. And that's it, guys. Simple as that to make a carotene trace. Quick, easy. You can do it in about two minutes on the beach if you want. But there we go. All done.